General Taylor. Hello, Mr. President. How are you? How are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Uh, General, I'm sitting here talking to Bob McNamara, and here's what we're confronted with. First, uh, a defense budget probably 65 to 70 billion yes. compared to 49 last year. Yes. Uh, two, uh, perhaps some uh, expression from the Congress on policy, uh, either reaffirming uh, their previous expression or some new one. Uh, Three, uh, the man on the street uh, really feels that uh, we have not done enough uh, on the political side and that our diplomatic uh, uh, moves uh, have been totally inadequate. The present poll this week, uh, Gallup shows uh, 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 that 43% believe that our diplomatic uh, efforts have been inadequate. Now, we're going to walk into the lines then with our own people, and uh, I would not say this to many men, but I can say it to you in confidence that I, I feel a good deal of the ice cracking under me and slipping uh, uh, on the domestic scene, election coming up, every man going up to his congressman saying what's going to happen to my boy why can't you get us out of there and why haven't you tried to do this so on and so forth now here's the situation we're in we've had four days beginning five o'clock in the morning uh, without bombing north vietnam as far as we can tell from the targets that we have lined up we could stand four more without uh, without any great uh, military uh, uh, danger. Uh, whether we, we might have a couple more bridges in operation or we might, uh, uh, we might have some target that uh, uh, we should have hit that we didn't hit. But we believe that we could go New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. We think that uh, it would be a good time to say to the Soviet, that you've been talking about uh, can't do anything when you're bombing North Vietnam. Now, we've told you we haven't bombed it in four days. And unless there's some catastrophe or something unusual happens, we won't bomb it for at least another four. And if we could get anybody really interested in doing anything, and they had any influence on the Chinese or on the North Vietnamese, well, we, we could extend it longer than that. But uh, if there's anything you can do or want to do or will do, now's the time to do it, and we're listening. And we just wonder if you're listening, and if you're listening, what you hear. Uh, we think uh, the odds are 95 to 5, I do, that nothing would happen. But we would be able to say to uh, the doubting Thomases, and a good many of them in the Senate, and the 43% of the American people, we paused for five or six days last year, and they didn't mean, didn't do anything about it. And we paused for 11 or 12 days this year, and they didn't do anything about it. And we have gone the last mile, we've searched every way we know of, and we think that we can do it now with less danger and less trouble, and, and we can later, and we think that we need it now to get the support and the unity back home that we could get. Now, uh, I'm going to ask Bob to go in the office and get on this other phone. I want to get your, uh, right here, Bob, this door right here, and pick up the line two. Uh, I want to get your unvarnished uh, judgment with the bark off. Just tell me exactly what to what your reaction is. I know you haven't been one. I, you've felt, as I have felt, that a pause was not uh, uh, dictated this time. And, uh, it wasn't uh, essential. But in the light of this, what? give it to me with the bark off. What do you think? Uh, I was talking this over with Mac this afternoon, Mr. President. And I told him this, and I, I will say to you, sir, that uh, 
that I have been opposed to the pause as a formal announced uh, uh, effort to see what the, the enemy would do, dealing there would be few, uh, and actually create conditions under which they could hardly respond even if they wanted to. So have I. That's been my feeling. But I would say this, that if you feel that a pause is almost inevitable, uh, this is the best time to do it. <laughs> that if we're ever going to have a pause for checking this thing out, and furthermore, for allaying the criticism, which I have certainly found as I have moved around the country, uh, this is the best time for it. I think the danger of being trapped is less. I think that the danger of disappointing our people who have been looking forward for some many times without uh, justification for something uh, rather miraculous to come from a pause, I think the after effect would be less. So that while I agree with General Westmoreland, the cable that he has sent in, that from a military point of view, he ought to get on with his business, that from the domestic point of view and the international political point of view, that uh, if you feel, as I suspect you do, and I feel to some degree, that we need to lay once and for all the idea that a pause will solve our problems, this may be the best time to do it. <laughs> what, uh, what signal would you give besides to the Soviet? Uh, that's what I don't know, sir, because I don't know what has taken place. Uh, I gather that we certainly should tell them that now we're trying out what they have suggested and we're prepared to let this go a few days. But what I would be afraid of is that they might come in late and then say, well, give us uh, another week or two and we might work something out. I think we have to, uh, we, we have to put some finite uh, period on this and our own thoughts even though we don't see it out. I would put January the 2nd on it. I do feel a need for it. I do feel a need for it, but uh, I'm distressed that uh, 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 I'm distressed by messages like this one from Sharp. I've indicated the disadvantages of the continued stand down of Rolling Thunder and recommended immediate resumption. Westmoreland made a plea for resumption. Notes the decrease in strike sorties in the last three months. He requests pressure on North Vietnam be increased. I have recommended program for Rolling Thunder designed steadily to increase the pressure on North Vietnam. These programs will drastically reduce the flow on military supplies reaching North Vietnam and hence the Viet Cong. The armed forces of the United States should not be required to fight this war with one arm tied behind their backs. I urgently recommend that Rolling Thunder commence immediately and the target programs I've recommended be approved. Signed Sharp. Well, sir, I think that's all right as far as it goes, but uh, my own thought was try this out uh, if, uh, for the internal political purposes you have in mind, and then let's go back and hit them just as hard as Sharp suggests. Well, I'd hit them harder after yeah. I go back. Even the but contrast of the law could be psychologically more uh, more painful, I think, to those on the receiving Yes, I think that's right. I think they'd know that we were there, and I don't think it would be showing too much weakness if we if we were four or five days during this period of uh, Christmas holidays and, and New Year's and New Year's Eve, I, uh, I think you, you can be a little better there than you normally expect to be. It, it won't, sir, if we're absolutely sure in our own mind we won't get trapped in this by some uh, late uh, late move on their part, say, well, now let's, uh, let's, uh, let this drag a little longer, perhaps we might get around to it. I'm sure in my own mind I wouldn't uh, yield to it, but uh, what I'm worried about, I, I, Am I endangering the lives of my men out there? I don't think so. Not uh, from a military point of view. I don't think that this will make uh, any serious difference if they're talking about five or six days or a week. Uh, it's really the, uh, uh, the uh, effect that you may encounter, Mr. President, if uh, as you approach the end of this, something turns up and then all the world starts pressing, well, now maybe they mean business, maybe they don't. But the, 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 the immediate military impact, I would, I would dismiss as a, as, a, as a great consideration. And on balance, you would uh, do what? 
I would believe, sir, if I were in your position, and if I, uh, I'd rather uh, the reading between the lines, the, the what, what you feel is the requirement at home, I would uh, I would let this thing drag without putting any time on it, being willing just just to watch for the next uh, four or five days, giving no suggestion of any terminal point, because if we do, of course, that would suggest to the enemy at least that step up the infiltration, let's do all these things which they might do with comparative safety. And furthermore, I'd be, I would, if I did that, I would keep the the reconnaissance uh, over no, over North Vietnam, but not uh, not actually dropping the bomb. Bob, what do you want to observe? Nothing, Mr. President. I think that covers all the points that I would like to have asked Max. Thank you, General. You've been a great comfort all through this thing, and I appreciate very much your advice. Well, Mr. President, I know your problem, sir. I'm always at your disposition. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Max. Thank you. Thank you, Bob.